In this video, we are going to look at everything within my Wealthsimple portfolio, and we will begin right now. Since I have shared my Wealthsimple Canadian TFSA portfolio, there has been a lot of interest in seeing how things are shaping up. I also had at least a request or few to see inside my RRSP. I had already promised that I would show my TFSA again after an oil sector rebalance. Well, that rebalance has happened, and instead of just showing my Canadian TFSA again, I'm showing you everything in Wealthsimple. This should be a lot of fun, and if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you how much passive income all of this generates. Before we peruse those stocks, let me know in the comments if you are utilizing a USD account for your portfolio. I am very grateful to see you all here in the home of free financial content on YouTube. If you are new, please subscribe right now so you won't miss a single moment and a huge thank you for that click. All right, let's jump into Wealthsimple. On our first screen, you can see that my portfolio is currently valued at $73,246.43 at the time of recording. That number moves quite a bit throughout the week, as you can quite imagine. As we move down to the account breakdown, we can see that most of my investing is within the TFSA, while my RRSP has not had to work too hard yet. I have been concentrating my investing into my TFSA because I have not really needed to mitigate my income a lot, but that is probably going to change as I am running out of room in my TFSA. I am sorting these by each holding's total value and the percentage stake I will quote for each asset is the percentage stake for the whole portfolio. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in. At the top of the heap, and this one should not be a surprise, we have Canute EIT and I have 500 shares in my TFSA for an overall 8.91% stake. Last time we looked in, Canoe was a little more prominent in my portfolio, but with the rebalance, I did minimize them a wee bit. Canoe is, of course, still one of my favorite stocks. Now, the first stock I ever bought was Fortis, and today I have 70 shares in my TFSA for a 5.47% stake in my portfolio. No surprise here that they survived my rebalance. Everyone knows that I love railroads, and as such, I have three railroad stocks we will be seeing here today. CNR is the first, and I have 25 shares in my TFSA for a 5.31% stake. I absolutely love this stock. Did I also mention that they're a very recession-proof stock too? My first ETF comes from Harvest with Hut L and 400 stocks in my TFSA for a 4.91% stake. Huddle is also one of my favorite dividend plays. Diversified Royalty Corp is a nice little dividend player that I hold 1,200 shares within my TFSA for a 4.75% stake in my Wealth Simple portfolio. This is one of my least expensive stocks. So a lot of times when I have money left over, I tend to buy a few more of their shares. Up next, we have another royalty stock and that is SIR, so Sir Royalty Income Fund within my TFSA. I hold 240 shares for a 4.55% stake in my portfolio. This one has had some pretty consistent growth in addition to their half decent dividends. So I definitely love that. Good old Pete's Pizza has a place in my TFSA with 250 shares for a 4.44% slice of my pizza pie, or more literally, my portfolio. All kidding aside, Pizza Pizza is a fantastic stock. Up next, I hold 400 shares of Timber Creek Financial in my TFSA for a stake of 4.42%. This is another of my dividend players. That takes us to Slate Grocery REIT, and I have 225 shares in my TFSA for a 4.39% stake in my Wealth Simple portfolio. Up next, we have one of the newer Hamilton ETFs, and this one is their Enhanced Multi-Sector ETF. Enhanced means they use covered calls to boost the dividends. I hold 205 shares in my TFSA for a 4.29% stake in my portfolio. Our next entry should ring a bell because I hold, well, 50 shares of bell in my TFSA. That amounts to a 4.28% stake. This is simply a good, solid blue chip stock that will probably live in my TFSA for a very long time. Coming in next, we have a split core stock that simply 
invests in Enbridge but returns a better dividend. I have 200 shares in my TFSA for a 4.25% stake. All right, moving on, we have another Hamilton ETF, and this one is their Enhanced U.S. Energy ETF. So once again, a very nice dividend stock. I hold 250 shares in my TFSA for a total stake of 4.16%. One of my favorite little banks is Canadian Western Bank, and I hold 119 shares in my TFSA for a 3.97% stake. Also in my TFSA, I have Manulife Financial, and I simply love this stock. I do have 125 shares for a 3.91% stake. Coming in next, we have the Purpose Bitcoin High Yield ETF, and it is another of my dividend plays. But once Bitcoin recovers, this one will have some serious growth as well. I hold 900 shares in my TFSA for a 3.89% stake in my portfolio. I promise, we will see something soon enough that is not in my TFSA. No Dollarama is also in my TFSA. I have 35 shares for a 3.69% stake. You will notice that I have done deep dives on a lot of these stocks. Dollarama is one where the research for the video made me realize there was some good potential here. Also in my TFSA, we have Brookfield Asset Management, and I have 35 shares for a 3.07% stake in my portfolio. Okay, the community loves Power Corporation of Canada, and I have 50 shares in my TFSA for a 2.33% stake in my portfolio. Yes, we are still in my TFSA, but we're moving into the USD part of the TFSA. So in my American account, we have Tesla. I hold four shares for a total share of 2.19%. Sticking to that USD TFSA, we have my second railroad with Union Pacific. I hold five shares for a total stake of 1.92% in my overall portfolio. Next, we have a stock in my USD RRSP, and that is Apple. I hold 5.5715 shares for a total stake of 1.52%. Apple is one of those stocks that is more than likely a hold forever one. In my normal RRSP, so the Canadian side, we have Scotiabank. I hold 15 shares for a total stake of 1.47% of my portfolio. Moving on back to my USD TFSA, we have the iShares US Financials ETF, and I hold 10 shares for a total stake of 1.33%. Now, IYF is actually my only annual dividend payer in my entire portfolio. Another new addition to my TFSA is Shopify. I added 21 shares for a 1.22% stake. They have absolutely sunk a lot and I am confident in them long term and believe there will be some growth in their future. Of course, my next video after this one is a Shopify deep dive. So check that one out for more on this edition. Moving back to the USD TFSA, we have Microsoft and I hold 2.5489 shares for a total stake of 1.13%. Also in my USD TFSA, we have Alphabet and I hold four shares for a total stake of 0.75%. My last railway is Canadian Pacific, and they choo-choo along in my RRSP to the tune of five shares for a 0.67% stake. Also in my RRSP, we have Air Canada to the tune of 25 shares for a whopping 0.63% stake. Coming up next, we have a Vanguard ETF, and it is their all equity ETF. I hold 12 shares in my RRSP for a 0.52% stake in my portfolio. It is not a mystery that I love dividend aristocrats, and we have the iShares Canadian Dividend Aristocrat ETF. I hold 10 shares in my RRSP for an overall stake of 0.42%. Now I also hold in that same RRSP 10 shares of Smart Centers REIT and that comes out to a 0.38% stake. I do definitely love this REIT. Bankwise, my second big six bank is TD Bank and I hold 3.0022 shares for a total stake of 0.36%. The final two are both in my USD RRSP. The first is Coca-Cola as I hold 3.145 eight shares for a total stake of 0.34%. The last and newest addition to my USD RRSP is Pfizer. I have started off with two shares and thus a teeny itty bitty wee stake of 0.17%. So that is my wealth simple portfolio. And overall, I am pretty happy with my diversification. Passive income gets reinvested and I will use that to start adding to the smaller stakes and build them up a bit. 
I promised earlier in the video, for those who stick around until the end, I would reveal the passive income from this portfolio. The monthly dividends generate $331.47 per month, while the quarterly dividends make $241.80 over three months, and there is also that one annual dividend of $6.12. So the grand total is $4,950.96 per year for this portfolio. Keep in mind, this is more of a total return portfolio, and these dividends could be much higher if I wanted to gear 100% towards passive income. I do have some other money in a non-Wealth Simple account in addition to this that is used for day trading. The fun does not have to end here because you can always watch my video on dividend aristocrats that I have linked on the left or you can check out the video on the right that YouTube thinks you will like. Your click will decide who is right and I will see you in the next video.